Hey everybody, welcome back to Cold School. Um, so I wanted to make a very quick little video on power supplies for uh, your homemade air conditioner, your ice chest air conditioner. So uh, there's different ways to do it and different methods to do that. They're all 12 volt. I just wanted to, or 12 volt or less. So what I currently use is a, uh, it's like a laptop charger. It's a power supply. So as you can see, it says power supply. So this wasn't made for a laptop. It just converts electricity from 110 uh, volts or 110 watts, 110 outlet plug in America down to 12 volts, which is, this is a barrel plug. And so I buy these. So, um, your laptop is the same way. It runs on 18 volts or 12 volts. I think the newer ones more run on like 18 or 16. The older ones could run off 12. So you got to be careful and watch that. If you buy one of these and it's 18 volts, you might burn something up. So make sure it's 12 or below if as long as your fan or your water pump are also 12 volts. So there's different ways, different plugs. This is a barrel plug. I'll explain why I use those now. You can use a cigarette lighter style with a barrel plug on the end. Or that's different. That's a two-prong plug. Uh, they also make, uh, or I say make, you can get these. Let's get close. That has three, four, uh, 4.5, 6, 7.5, 9, and 12. So if you were to plug this into a wall and you plug this barrel plug into your... Uh, homemade air conditioner, your 12 volt air conditioner, you can actually adjust the fan speed with the, if your fan or your water pump is a variable speed. So you could put it on 12 volts, or if you wanted to slow it down, you could put it on nine. If you wanted to slow down the fan, you could put it down to seven and a half, down to six, all the way to off. You can do that on your water pump too as videos that I'm making lately on the water pump speed for the return to make your ice last longer so the water doesn't come in so fast. You could hook one of these up to the barrel plug that is on the uh, the fan and then you can make the fan, I mean the water pump run really fast or make it run slow so the water doesn't come back so fast. You can even get these uh, foam uh, charger style power supplies and uh, a lot of them obviously come with barrel plugs on them. Now, you got to make sure the barrel plug dimensions are the same. You know, a lot of laptops are proprietary. So this one here is 12 volts. It's a 1,000 milliamps, so it's less than an amp. So the air conditioners that I build, uh, like that one way over there in the center, or that one way over there in the center, is uh, they run on about an amp. So, uh, but there's so many of these. I, I used to go to, to Goodwill and just buy, I'd look at the amps and the, uh, make sure it wasn't like five amps or 10 amps and blow up my stuff, but I'd make sure it was 12 volts or less and, it, you know, less than a few amps. And I would buy stuff and uh, just, I mean, there's just so many you can use. So these are the, some of the little water pumps that I use. I just wanted to go over the power supplies. And uh, you can get them that are like this. This happens to be white, but let me see what that one is. Okay, that's 12 volts. I've got some that are 9 volts. So you can, if you wanted to slow down your water, you could power it with a 9 volt type. And then when you, when you do that, if it's only 9 volts or 6 volts, you can just plug it in and it'll slow to keep the fan speed low, which won't go up to 12 volts. But for the water supply, which is important to slow it down if you don't use a baffle, you can use uh, a 9 volt or a 6 volt or a 7.5 volt uh, phone charger as long as the amps can keep it run, the pump running and have the water flow uh, just right so you don't melt all your ice. And this is uh, this is actually one of my earlier videos I did a long time ago. I actually took a laptop charger. This is an actual laptop charger, and this one is 12 volts, and it's 3.3 amps. It's kind of hard to. There it is. 12 volts, 3.33 
amps. So this is perfect to run the fan and the water pump. And what I did, this is old school. I was just experimenting with safe, you know, plugs. So I actually took a PVC, like a three or four inch uh, cap on a PVC threaded, and I cut the white top off the PVC, drilled out holes, put my own uh, connections in there, and used guitar plugs and uh, to connect to convert to the uh, the laptop charger and then I put an inline like a lamp style plug for an on and off I mean that's some old school crazy stuff the reason I went with the guitar plug at the time which was just about four years ago or so three and a half years ago it was just an experiment it did work work perfectly it's in some of my videos but the reason I did it is because when you unplug uh, unplug it it would it's only a few volts so it's just like plugging into your guitar, you know, and there's it's not going to shock you or anything. So that's why I did that. And uh, so I was going to show you the importance of the barrel plug and this plug here. So the reason being, uh, let's go over here to this one. Well, uh, that one doesn't have the plug on it. So anyway, let me show you this. So that black box right there is the speed controller for the fan. So that internally it looks like this. I put these, I buy all the components and put them together. And uh, so on this one, I put the bar the female barrel plug on here and then run it to the power the, the uh, adjuster. That way I can take this power, of course with one hand might not be very convenient, and I can take this, so this will come out of the wall, plug in the wall, it'll convert down to from uh, 110 watts or volts or whatever. It'll convert down to 12 volts. I mean, you can touch this all day long. It's just like your lap. And then you just, of course, this is with one hand. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. There we go. Then you plug it in, and then you turn it on or off here, and then that way you can power your uh, water pump. So with the water pump, it's the same thing. I have these barrel plugs on there. So I did that on purpose. I have the fan speed controller and the water pump both made originally from the factory with barrel plugs because this one will actually fit through this hole right here and then it'll come out there and then this one here will be on top just like that and then that barrel plug on the front will be near the barrel plug on the other one and what i do then is take this and this is just to make it simple plug and play you take the power supply with the barrel plug and you can you can run this inline switch on and off for the power, which has a barrel plug, female and male. And then you put the, you run this part from the power into the inline switch, comes from the male into the female, and then you have a splitter. And then you take the splitter and you plug the component, which the plug on the other one is here and the water pump is here and you just plug them both and then you've got 12 volt electricity out of the wall and that's for people that want to use these indoors so anyway i hope that helped probably rambled a lot but uh that's why you know i currently build these the way i do and uh I, they, they're very they work very well they're terribly cold and uh they'll freeze you out from four feet away they can cool a room uh really uncomfortably cold that a room uh, eight by 12 six feet high so uh, I haven't deviated from the general dimensions of the square inch coverage on the um, radiator versus the fan square inch coverage of the diameter of the little three inch fan that's why I have it, you know, pulled away. So you could use a PC fan up close to a fan. You just had, it just took years to find the something that worked as fast, as cold, as a great automobile car 
air conditioning system that's blowing right on. I mean, it, it's just that cold. It's actually colder because it blows faster. Because you wouldn't want a fan blowing that fast in a car. It'd be too too powerful. So once I got those dimensions and everything, I just I stick with those basics and I don't deviate. I do experiment a lot and I'll be doing a lot of testing. But I don't deviate from the three inch fan or the four inch inline fan, that particular air box and that particular size for thickness and dimensions on the width and the height of the uh, radiator. So that's, that's, I haven't found anything better. I'm not even looking for anything better. It works that good. So I hope this helps and uh, I hope you have success with your, uh, your designs and your builds. So, uh, Thanks for watching, and I'll, I'll make some more videos. And if you got any questions, ask me on Facebook or on YouTube, and I'll either make you a video or answer you directly. So, hope it helps. Bye-bye.